Here's some more best practices. The y-axis should have a consistent scale. Take a look at the sample chart showing the readmission rate in the first 30 days after discharge from the hospital. Um, and don't worry, it's just a sample. I'm not depicting any particular state here. Um, you notice something weird about this chart? Uh, upon first glance, you might assume that there's a huge spike between 1973 and 1974. But look a little bit more closely at the odd way in which the vertical axis is scaled. What do you see that's strange about that? Somebody tell me. Doesn't start at zero. Exactly. It's scaled to go from 28 to 33 percent, thus making the change between those two years appear to be much more drastic than it really is. See how steep that line is? Therefore, I call this chart misleading. By contrast, take a look at the chart on the right. Same data. Okay, but what do you see that's different? Now, keep in mind, it doesn't matter that it's a bar graph, okay? A line chart would have shown the same thing. Somebody tell me, what do you see that's different about the second graph? Huh? Yeah, that's right. It's scaled, the y-axis is scaled to start from zero. You can see perhaps a more accurate depiction of the readmission trend over that same five-year period of time. Now, therefore, I'd call this chart not misleading. You notice I didn't call it corrected necessarily. You see, many companies, individuals, institutions, um, whatever you want to call them, they're going to display their graphical images however the heck they want, right? They're, they're, they're without any regard for statistical norms or accuracy or anything else. I mean, the only thing they're interested in, let's make it look good. Let's make it say what the boss man wants to say or the boss lady wants to say, okay? Let's not be sexist, excuse me. You know, we, we want to make it say what we want it to say instead of letting the data speak for itself. Itself. Now, to that point, specific misrepresentation of data can occur in, in many cases for self-serving purposes, right? I mean, it's all a matter of making the data say what you want it to say, or do you just let the data speak for itself? That's what we should be interested in. Let the data speak for itself, all right? Now, I would much rather hold myself to that higher standard of integrity and accuracy. Well, that said, I'm not necessarily implying that you must force the y-axis to be scaled to start from zero in every single case, every single time. I mean, let's face it, sometimes you're faced with looking at uh, multiple data sets and multiple series with a whole big bunch of numbers. And a lot of times when those numbers are pretty doggone close together, the only way you can see the difference visually is is to zoom in on that scale. Granted, uh, all I'm suggesting is whatever you do, be consistent across the board. And by all means, try to avoid making changes over time appear to be more drastic than they really are.